the kids home for the summer, you're probably looking for things to do with them. But in these tough economic times, it can be tough. But it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Psychologist Frank Cummings joins us from his Shano office with some answers. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Rachel. Hey, l let me ask you some of your, your ideas about how to have some family time with Some money, you're going to have a lot more fun. And that's not necessarily true. Free can be fun. Such as? Well, some of the things that you can do is that you can just discover the world around you. There's plenty of free uh, programs at libraries, uh, at museums, and especially at the zoo. There's a big event coming up this weekend. You're going to learn a little bit about tomorrow from Neil, but it's also sponsored by Fox 11, too. There's uh, other things that can be done that involve a mild amount of exercise, such as uh, going on a nature walk or going on a nature trail. And you say things as simple as cooking, getting the family together to make a meal or going out into the garden and pulling weeds together. Just getting the family together makes all the difference? Yeah, I don't know about pulling weeds, but <laughs> certainly, uh, you know, if there's logical things that are happening during the day, you can involve the kids in something as simple as cooking a meal, and it can be really fun. It might be a little messy, but nonetheless, it can be fun. And also helping them understand uh, how food is grown mean, meaning, means a trip to the garden. How does it make a difference to young children to be able to spend quality time with mom and dad? Is it enough for them? And Does it um, make up for not being able to get new toys and go to neat places that cost money? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, I had a young man in my office yesterday, and his parents took him on a couple of exotic trips this summer, and he still said he's bored. So it really is about the relationships, not necessarily the toys or the things that you have or the places you go, because relationships are the only things that really satisfy. Dr. Frank Cummings, thank you so much for your insight. Maybe